Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to create an interactive checklist in Excel. So on screen, I have a pretend Christmas shopping checklist. At the moment, I simply have five names listed of fictional people that I'm imagining I need to buy for. I want to insert checkboxes next to their names and then be able to mark those off as I do my purchasing, do my gifting. And when I do that, I also want the cells to change colour so it's very visual, and very easy to see that they've uh, been bought for. So first of all, we need the checkboxes. And for that, we need the developer tab up on the ribbon. Now, if you do not have your developer tab, you will need to right mouse click somewhere on the ribbon choose customize the ribbon and then check the box for developer on the right hand side I don't need to do that I have mine I'm going to go straight for the insert tab and go for the checkbox form control you'll see in here there's two different checkboxes ActiveX and form for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going for the form control and then I'm going to simply click and drag to kind of draw that onto my sheet and position it as desired. So that's going nicely in the center of that cell. Now you'll notice that it puts a default label of check. Well, you can't see the whole thing there, but it says checkbox, uh, blah, blah, blah in there. <laughs> uh, that is not what I want. I want them to be empty because I kind of have a label next to it, which I'm writing in the cells instead. So I'm going to right mouse click on that checkbox and choose edit text so that I can simply delete that text and you can see what I'm saying now, you can see the word box 28, get rid of all that, click away and now it's clear and empty and looks a lot neater. Now I need one of those checkboxes for every single name in my list or every item in my list. Now I'm going to click on the cell and just simply copy and paste the one I have. Do not click on a checkbox, click on the cell that contains the checkbox. It's very important at this point that that checkbox is completely enclosed within that cell. I just simply do a normal copy and paste. I'm using the keyboard shortcuts Control C and Control V right now, so you can't really see much going on. But however you do it, I'm simply copying and pasting, and I'll press Escape so that I get a duplicate checkbox. Uh, equal size in equal positioning within each cell I pasted it within. So now visually we have a neat looking checklist, how, you know, albeit quite small. <laughs> but now we're losing functionality at the moment. I can check these boxes, but nothing really happens. Now we need to record the value of the checkbox somewhere. It's known as the cell link with checkboxes. I can do that by right clicking a checkbox and formatting the control uh, and using the cell link option provided in here. But a slightly quicker way for us is to select the checkbox. Now we need to do that by holding down control on your keyboard and then clicking on it. That was hold down control and then click on it. Because if you just click on it, it's going to check it. So to select it, hold control and click. Then in the formula bar, I'm going to type equals and then click on the cell that I want to record the value in. And I'm going to use column A for that. Now that will record an absolute reference. Now there's nothing we can do about that. If I delete that dollar sign, Excel will just put it back in. They will be fixed references. Unfortunately, what that means for us is we're going to have to manually do this for every single one. So if I press enter, Control click the second one. Let's try that again. <laughs> uh, equals in the cell, enter, click, maybe click away somewhere, control click, formula bar, equals, and so on. Now I've only got five here, so this is not going to take me much longer to get this done. It's pretty easy going. It's not going to take me any more than maybe five more seconds. However, if you've got a lot, you can imagine this is going to be a painful experience. And you may want to start looking at getting a macro to kind of loop through and do that for you. 
I'll make sure I'll put a, a link in the description of this video to my VBA course um, so you can maybe look at doing that kind of stuff, learn the skills if you don't have them already. Otherwise, it's just a case of manually doing it, which will be repetitive, be a bit annoying, but you know, it's not the end of the world. I did those five pretty quickly. What that means for us right now is that if I check those boxes, uh, it puts the value of true in these cells. Now, you can't see that at the moment because I've formatted the cells in a, a white font just to be a bit cheeky and so that the values are not shown to the user. I could equally hide that column. You know, it doesn't need to be visible for this to work. There's nothing really wrong with it saying true or false there, but it's a little bit ugly. So I'm just being a little bit clever, if you will, and uh, formatting the font in white so that the user can't see it come up and go true, true, as we mark them off. But a value is being recorded somewhere, which means that we could create analytics and visualization of it by creating charts, and writing formulas and stuff, if we so desired depending on what your checklist will be used for. One thing I do want is for it to change the colour of the cells when I check it. So that is very visual and it's very easy to see uh, the ones that remain, which is what is of interest to me. So for that, I'm going to highlight the cells that I want to apply the formatting to. I want to highlight the two cells in a row, so that means I better highlight the whole list, including both columns. I'll use conditional formatting on the Home tab and New Rule. Use a formula to determine which cells. And in the box provided, I'm going to type equals. I'm going to click on cell A4 the very for the very first row. That's the cell that will say true or false. But then remove the dollar sign before the row number, before the 4. So it ends up saying equals dollar sign A4. So the column is fixed but the row is left relative, so that it also uses row 5, row 6, row 7, row 8, and as many as you have. I'll click the Format tab and choose some formatting. We can obviously do whatever we wish right now. I'm going for bold text, kind of orangey sort of font. I want to, uh, not font, sorry, fill colour. And when I click OK out, the job is done. So when I check boxes, it automatically colours those cells. And if I uncheck, it automatically removes those cells. So that is my interactive checklist. I check the boxes, Excel marks them off. I can see who's remaining um, a little bit easier. And that is us done using conditional formatting and some checkboxes. I say you could take it further with formulas and analytics. And maybe macros can speed up part of our job there. But that's how we can quickly and easily create a little uh, checklist in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of my other YouTube videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, come check us out at computergargar.com.